to Ultra Tune and the guys from the Toy Box, our official after party venue here for our show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. If you've just joined us, thank you very much for being here. We are live at the uh, Southport Sharks tonight and a big, big night. You might be watching us somewhere at home on Aurora TV. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight, all thanks to our sponsors, Rhino Range by Thor Building Products. We are in the cruiserweight division. Please welcome our red corner, Quinton Carey. And his opponent, please welcome Ben Kelleher. Well, this fight, all thanks to Rhino Range by Thor Building Products. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cruiserweight Division. First of all, fighting out of our red corner. He weighed in at 86.15 kilos. He trains under Lou Vailtua at the Zion Boxing Gym in Ipswich. Please give it up for Quentin Chaos Carey. <laughs> fighting out of our blue corner. Hitting the scales at 91 kilos even. Training under Kyle Bromby at the corporate box in East Brisbane. He is the former Australian cruiserweight champion, Ben Kelleher. Go. Okay, fellas, let's take you back from the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. We're a good, clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck for both of you. Wow, we plenty of feeling there in that stare down. You can see both oh, boys doubt. mean business. Yes, I'm, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but Nathan, I'm looking forward to this one as well. It's another one when you saw these two names on the yeah. card. Six rounds, is it as well? Also, I think makes it extra intriguing. Great contest. Yeah, it'll be fast paced. Quinton Kerry is a former national light heavyweight champ. He lost it the last time he was actually here with the majority decision points loss to Josh Fredrickson. Uh, but what we saw that night is Quinton has a massive motor because the longer the fight went, the better he got. He's only got six rounds here, so he needs to be a little bit more of a sprinter here tonight if he wants to get the win. And he started that way, and Ben Kelleher, Nathan, we've seen him progress from uh, the domestic scene in terms of Queensland titles, Australian titles. He's, he's taken on all comers and uh, and continues to build a nice little resume. Yeah, well, his only pro loss came to Jai Apatea, which is probably it's Australia's... company. Yeah, probably Australia's biggest hope of winning a world championship, so or one, one of Australia's best hopes anyway. So he is a former Australian champion himself, uh, is Ben Kelleher. Now these are two boys that are used to fighting longer rounds. So how does that change to the Nathan here? Six right, rounds? I mean, it's still enough time right, for them to work right. into a contest, but they're used to fighting 10 round fights. This is a little bit different. Well, it all comes down to their preparation. Obviously, their sparring was very critical for, the, uh, for a, a fast fight like this. So they would have had to spar at that six round limit quite some time to get back used to that sort of style of fighting. So if, they, if their preparation was good, they'll, they'll convert it here tonight. Do you think it suits either fighter better? Um, well, before this fight, I would have thought it, it definitely suited uh, Ben Kelleher better because, like I said, Quinton right. Kerry, step back, step back, the last time back. I saw him when he lost his uh, Australian title, the second half of the fight is when he came home. So it was all too late. So, um, But you can see he's really he started fast here tonight, so he's completely different. Yeah, he's on his toes. He's snapping that jab out. He's hitting. He's moving. Great fight to start us off here. Get a new set of trunks too, yeah, just to flash. go with it. <laughs> a good right hand there from Ben Kelleher. Trying to 
find his opponent, trying to slow him down. So he can get his big right hand off. Does Ben Kelleher. The no-nonsense fighter, isn't he, Ben Kelleher? He's, uh, he, he does what he does within his own way, and he does it well. Well, he comes out of a no-nonsense no -nonsense gym, really. Obviously, the corporate box boys, there's, there's no playing over there. You can see even their sparring is all done at 100%, so, so he's bred well. Great opening round to this fight too as well. So you can see we're in for a, uh, a super fight this. Oh, good Ooh. shots there from both boys. Kerry first and then there was a receipt there from Ben Kelleher with a big right hand. A stare down at the end as well. There's plenty going on yeah, out there. Plenty of feeling in this contest. Nathan. I don't know Quinton Carey, but I want to know if he can sit still. Gee, Burns, he's moving backwards and forwards, waiting for that bell to go. He's visibly, I tell you what, he's keen. He's up for this contest tonight. He's almost he's got it. Well, yeah, he's almost got ants in his pants tonight. <laughs> oh, you can see he doesn't want to stay still, but Ben Keller will do a good job of trying to keep him still, trying to work him to the corners so he can't escape left or right. Nice and composed, Kelleher, isn't he? So, uh, as we said, with with, with Quinton Carey, he's uh, doing a lot of the moving, moving around, but uh, Kelleher just uh, stalking his opponent, staying nice and composed, and, and just staying again, or I said earlier, what he's good at doing, he's good at what he wants to do. He's fighting it at his pace. He's, he's not letting Carey's energy or his, or his early flurries uh, really bother him with what he wants to do. Right, step back. Like we said earlier, both former national champions. So this is the elite level here in Australia. Both boys bring a different style, completely different style. One's boxing and moving, one sort of plants his feet and wants to let go of bigger punches and heavier punches. And hats off to both boys. We said two former national champions taking Work each other on in a, in a six round contest. Get your hand out of it, Ben. That's better work there from Kelleher, Great pinning his opponent inside. in the corner. Happy to tap it away at this stage, Kerry. Not really planning his feet, just tapping, keeping him at a distance, but Kelleher breaking right, that distance back. once again. Step back, get your head out of it, Ben. Box. Kelleher is just trying to set up for something big. He's just trying to find the right time to launch that bomb of his, which is that right hand. Stalking Quentin Carey, but he's going to see Carey always moving. Is that right hand you were talking about? Yep. And I've, I've noticed when Carey circles, he's circling the one way. So if, if Ben picks up on that, as he's circling, you throw your right hand and bang, he almost walks into it himself. Oh, and there is a big right hand as we Again. speak. And here we go. He's starting to slow down Quinton Kerry. He's starting to hit him to the body. Starting to outmuscle him here. Oh, nice. Is Ben Kelleher. 
Look at his, his, his corners calling for him to step it up here. And Kelleher. Another big Ooh. right hand. Caught the mark. Yeah. Look at these. Look at the <laughs> feelings between these two. There's plenty of emotion and it's coming out in this fight. Great round there. Both boys had their moments. You'd have to say the first half of that round belonged to Quinton Carey. The second yep. half absolutely belonged to uh, to Ben Kelleher. I agree 100%. And then they go eyeball to eye at the end of the round. So here's some of the good early work you see on replay here from Quinton Carey. Good little uppercut there from Quinton Carey. But Kelleher definitely came home the stronger of the two. got the feeling something's going to happen in this fight. It's just somebody's going to get knocked down. There's going to be something happen. I just too much, too much animosity between the Absolutely. two. Absolutely. And it started at the weigh-in. Good shot there from Quinton Kerry, keeping him long. Mm. Oh, glancing shot there from Gallagher. He's growing in confidence, isn't he, Ben Kelleher? He gained a lot of confidence out of that last round, uh, to the point of where you feel as though he, he just feels it's a matter of time, the way he's, uh, he's out there. Well, he's warm now. That's what it comes down to. I think, he, like you said, he's, a, he's more of a long-distance runner when it comes to title fights and so on and so forth, but now he's finally warm, and, he, and he's throwing his better shots. It's a pivotal round in the contest here. So just what you talked about before noticing here with Quinton Carey, the way he circles, and he circles, as you mentioned, basically right into the hitting zone of that right hand. Would you like to see him come back the other way, give him that other look? Because he said he's, he's basically just moving right in the zone of where, where Kelleher wants to, to lock and load that right hand. That's, that's exactly right. A good counter finder usually moves left and right, really confusing his opponent, not giving him the same shot to throw off, you know? So, but at this stage, Carey is circling to his left Constantly, so it, it opens up a big right hand potentially for Ben Kelleher to hit him with. He's tried it there, he just missed, but here comes the second right hand. The left just missed, he's carrying in his own corner there. Starting to pour on the pressure now is Ben Kelleher. You can see he's definitely the, the, the he heavy hitter of the two, and he, he knows that. Gotta, that's it. Keep on stalking him. He's going to break that distance, give him no room to move, Ooh. and he's done a good job there catching him with that right hand again as he circles to his left. see Quinton Carey in his corner fighting out of it but again there moving to that left side pull with the right hand you think you think that Quinton has to change something up here to get the decision because if it keeps on going like this I don't think he's going to get the decision because he's, he's falling straight into the game plan now of Ben Kelleher So another good round there for Ben Kelleher. Another competitive round, but again, similar tail. Carey jumps out of the blocks reasonably quickly, but we end the round with uh, Ben Kelleher landing the telling blows. So we see our replays here. Yep, circling that one way and getting caught. We've said it a numerous times now, but he hasn't caught on. I don't know if the, if the potentially the corner's caught on, but sometimes what you say to your fighter just doesn't convert in the ring. Oh, big right hand. 
No one caught him flush, so you see the corner here, Louvartour and Team Zion. Boxing gym. So we head into the second half of the fight. Another right hand. Start off the round for Ben Kelleher. And it's more of the same from Quentin Gary, just doing the same things. You can see it's just a matter of time until one of those big shots just lands. But hopefully for Gary, he changes things up. As he looks to lead out that jab to capture the attention or stop that flop. Oh, that's the punch. And there it is. James O'Shea, I've been calling it all the, the whole fight, and he's finally got him. And it was it was inevitable. He had to, because he was circling that one way and just inviting his opponent to tee off on him. And Kelleher found the punch. He's almost jagged it again there as he marches forward here. Get your head out of it. And a barrage of punches into his corner here. Yeah, Ben Kelleher can smell the blood here. You can see him start to open up. This is very dangerous territory here for Quinton Kerry now. What's Kerry right, got to do here right, right now? Yeah. We know he's a little Don't unsteady on his legs. Don't he's got to get through this troubled water period. Too, well, similar right? to the last fighters that were in play. trouble. He needs, to, he needs to grab him, hold him in close, get to the canvas if need be, just to take that rest and, and get his head back. Dominant round from Ben Kelleher thus far. Oh, and a good body shot there from Ben Keller, right hand to the ribs of Quinton Carey. A swing and a miss there from Kelleher, but he, he knows he's got plenty of power in those shots. Every time he throws them, he's throwing to knock out Quinton Carey. And he's still circling that same way, Quinton Carey. He hasn't caught on, but there's a right hand that's caught on from Ben Kelleher. Work into this corner here. And that's better from Quinton Kerry. When he comes forward, he has to come forward with punches and bunches. He hasn't got the power of Kelleher, so when he comes forward, he needs to throw volume. Oh, and another big right hand. This might not go too much longer because he's feeling, he's in a world of hurt here, Quinton Kerry. Ben Kelleher looking to finish the job here. This is when he's just got to cut off the ring, Ben Kelleher. He's got to bring up his back foot and really make it hard for Quinton Kerry to escape off the ropes. And that right hand is there to be thrown again for Ben Kelleher. He didn't take right, it that step time. Back, step back. Get out of it. Get your head out of it. Box. Get your head out of it, Ben. And another dominant, dominant round for Ben Kelleher. He survives the round. He's frustrated. Disappointed with himself in the corner at the moment, Quinton Carey. Counting down to our sixth and final round. Best round of the fight so far. Obvious statement, of course. But yep. Best round of the fight so far from Kelleher. We're going to see why. Oh. Bang. Oh. And you've got to give... Credit to Quinton Massive Kerry for, for getting up from that because a lot of people and a lot of fighters would just, that, the easier way out is just to stay stay down after that punch. And look, but, Nathan, you've been calling for that the whole fight or, or predicting that that's what was coming. It was only a matter of time. Kelleher finds that range and when he finds it, you, you always predicted that that's what the outcome was going to be. Well, James, and that's the importance of your corner. You're only as good as your corner sometimes because you can see more clear than them inside the ring at times. So because you obviously you don't have the fatigue, you don't have all, all the all the pressure on you. So you, you, that's why your corner is so important. They can see a lot more than you at times. Now I'm not Einstein in saying this, but um, of course, Quick and Kerry needs a knockout here to win the fight. No doubt. And you've said he's got a big motor. You, you spoke about that last fight. One thing you know with him is that he, he's not going to stop trying. He's, uh, he's got a big heart, and, and you know he's going to put all he's got into, into this round. Well, you can see from him getting up from that knockdown. Absolutely. You can see the, the heart that he has. But, I mean, obviously, when, you, when you're copping punches as well, that takes away from your, from your endurance as well. You 
can just see Ben Kelleher is seeing every punch that Quinton Kerry's throwing. He's just evading the punches with ease and then just loading up his own shots as he just misses with that big right hand again. It was nearly the end if, if that one had, had got home. As he comes in again, right hand is the money shot that he's looking for. A right hand lead there, changing things up, catching his opponent. One, two to the head. Trying to finish to the body, but didn't. That was a good body shot there from Quentin Kerry. Did catch the attention of Ben Kelleher too. He, and certainly caught his head in the right hand, finds it home again. Yeah, another right hand. Nice little right, left in there as well. Step back. Let him up. Let him up. Box. Seems that he might be going the distance this fight, and he, he'll, he'll survive it out. Quentin Kerry. Yeah, but something yeah, dramatically yeah. changes here in this last stanza. Oh, and a oh, big right hand. Oh. He is an unsteady legs. I might have just mocked him then. Oh. And Kelleher marching forward here. He wants to end this one via stoppage. Yeah, he has four knockouts on his resume. He oh. wants his fifth, and here it might come. Oh, two big shots there from Kelleher. Right hand, left hook. Both snapping the head back of Kerry. Oh, wow, we another left hook. Really just, these are taking a massive toll on Kerry now. You can just show, but the amount of endurance he's got, you can see he's fit because if you weren't Absolutely. fit, you'll be on the canvas. And you can see he's just, as you spoke about before, warm. He's just getting going as well, Kelleher, the long distance fighter. Oh, another right hand. Just walking in for that shot every time. Quentin Kerry. Yep, plenty of homework here for Quentin Kerry and his team. Obviously moving forward if they want to continue on in the fight game. This, that needs to change, no doubt. Another big, big, big round from Kelleher there. A couple of times I thought it might be stopped. But to, to, to Kerry's, you know, obviously his endurance and his strength and his power, he's, he's kept him in there. And to his credit, he's, he's, he's still fighting. He's got a lot of will and a lot of want as well, Quinton Kerry, to, to, to keep himself in this contest. He's, he's getting stalked down at the moment. I think it's fair to say that uh, at this point of the fight, as we count down to our sixth and final, yep. Ben Kelleher has no respect for the power that's coming back at him, or, or he's, he's, he's very comfortable. I mean, he's termed that differently. He's very, very comfortable what's coming back at him. And uh, and he's able to uh, to do what he wants in there at the moment because he feels as though, yeah, I suppose, the old story feels as though he can take that's one to give boys. one if that's what he needs that's to nice. do. To, to, to land the punch. Yeah, he's definitely dictating the pace of this fight. And like you said, it is no disrespect to Kerry, but it doesn't look like he has the punching power to upset Kelleher, and he knows that. Look at that right hand just getting thrown more and more from Kelleher as he tries to stop this inside the distance. This is better from Kerry, though. He's throwing the jab a lot more, which is keeping his opponent at bay. Not going to win him the fight, but it will keep him safe for now. He looks to learn a right hand of his own. Oh, and right hand. Oh, and then left hook to follow up from Kelleher. Good evasion. I'm, I'm more impressed with his defense than his offense today, yeah. Kelleher. He's done a really good job of uh, really defending everything that Kerry's throwing against him. Been a great performance from uh, Ben Kelleher. He's he's just, well, just he's just controlled the fight. Very seasoned performance, no doubt. Absolutely, he's done what he's needed to do. He's weathered the storm when he's had to weather the storm, and then he's poured on the pressure when he's had the opportunity to pour on the pressure. 
as we see Kerry just circling that one way, continually circling left. Right hand just missing the mark once again there from Kelleher. Break, step back, step back, step back Get your head out of it, both of you. Box. No, hit beyond the back. Definitely more output this round from Kerry, but just Definitely. nothing nothing with the heat that it needs to be able to stop Kelleher. To change the, the fight or to, to, to give himself that chance of landing that, as we've said, that knockout that he does need. Big right hand thrown from Kerry, but just hitting the shoulder of Kelleher. Oh, one, two, one, two from Kelleher. Jeez, he wore that well. Again, Quentin Kerry. I felt that one here. Trying to hit to the body, Kerry. Trying to change things up a little bit, right. but just step back, step back. nothing enough with power. And you can see Kelleher, he hears the 10 second timber and he lets down. What a throw down it was towards the end, but it is definitely a Kelleher win in my eyes. And he's been very close to stopping him a couple of times throughout the course of that fight, but hats off to Kerry for surviving it out. As you can see, the highlights from the previous round, a big left hook there from Kelleher. And just more of the same, relentless pressure. You can just I see again, can't you, in his hole, like just stalking down his opponent, just stalking down his prey. Yeah, textbook performance here from Kelleher tonight. So that would take uh, Ben Kelleher to 13 and, and 1. And again, as I said, he's amassing a, uh, a good record uh, from that Australian Cruiserweight title. As you mentioned, the only loss that he's had in his career again there was to Jai Opatire. Yep. Uh, good wins, uh, building up some, uh, some a really good resume there, Ben Kelleher. I have had a round of applause for these two guys. Fantastic Cruiserweight matchup. We go to the judges' scorecards after our six rounds of boxing action. Our judges score this fight 59-54, 57-56, 58-55. All for the winner, a unanimous decision to the blue corner, Ben Kelleher.